All right, folks, I'm gonna do a little project. I'm gonna try to make a little homemade duck egg incubator. Now, I guess you could hatch any eggs in here, but basically, uh, you, you gotta maintain about 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Chicken egg is uh, 21 days. Duck egg hatches in about 28 days. So I want to do a little experiment because I'm locked down for 14 days on this home quarantine. I said, you know what? Let's let's see if we can hatch some duck eggs, some chicken eggs. You know, give a little fourth G. Uh, you know, a couple little ducklings or chickens to play with for a few days, and then we'll take them over to Francis' house when they get bigger. Obviously, can't run a chicken farm or duck farm here at the uh, penthouse suite, but let me show you my uh, materials that I have on hand. I basically just got this cooler, and it's a little ice chest I bought up at the market for a few dollars, what have you. So if this little project doesn't work out, and I'm really not gonna modify the box too much, but I'm gonna use this little cooler for, uh, for the casing. I've got this Firefly, well, that's a light bulb in there. I just got this little thing here. I'm gonna use that for my heat source. And I don't know if this Firefly LED lamp, I don't know how many watts it is, I can't see it. I don't know if that's gonna be enough wattage to keep it at 100 degrees. I'm not gonna know until I put it in there and test it out. Worst case scenario, I gotta go buy another uh, light bulb. But, you know, because the LED don't put off a lot of heat, but this is a small space, so I don't know. We're going to test it out. And I think that's what it was. I think that was a 9 watt. Or no, this is a 9 watt. I'm not sure what's in there. So maybe I got two different options. Uh, I got some tape in case I need it. And I don't know if this thing's going to work or not. I bought this from the States. It's a, uh, you know, meat thermometer. But I mean, if it'll work on sticking it in meat, it should be able to work. Just taking a tip inside this box. And I think what I'm gonna do is all I'm gonna do is just mark like a small hole right here. We just pop it out and I'm gonna slide that through there. That way the switch, on off switch will be on the outside of this jewel. So you can look at the temperature and then figure out if it's gotta come on or off. And this is not the ideal way to build one of these boxes. You should have a, a thermostat. But I don't have a damn thermostat. I'm going to see if I can just put the right bulb in there and adjust it. Um, you know, using that thermometer where I can just try to maintain around 100 degrees. And then I'm going to throw some eggs in there. You got to turn the egg several times a day and keep the humidity right. You know, put a cup of water down in there. And I'm going to see if I can hatch some of these eggs here at the penthouse suite. Now, some of you may be experts at this. I'm not a damn expert. I've never had a little my own little incubator. Usually, the chickens and the ducks do that for you. But we'll give it a we'll give it a try. So let me get something marked here. And I'm going to dig out a hole, and I'll have this thing put together in about three minutes. Wife number one joining me. She don't have no idea what I'm doing. But let me just give you a gander at her. She's got out of the shower. Baby, you look so beautiful. My goodness. All right, so folks, all I'm going to do is smart, like right in here. I think that'll work somewhere in there. Baby, can you go get me one of them Bear Grylls knockoff knives? We'll just cut that out. Pretty simple. All right, so I think I cut that a little high. So I'm just going to use this, this knockoff Bear Grylls knife cut this hole in it. Baby, can you hold my camera right here? Just hold it right like that. Yeah, right there so I can demonstrate the effectiveness of this here Bear Grylls fake Chinese knockoff. It needs to be sharpened. It's, oh shit! Bear Grylls! A little butter cutter. Alright, there we go. Oh, 
Okay, step one complete. Shooting a YouTube video and again, she, I, I mean, she did get cleaned up, but. <laughs> Alright, come on over here, baby. I still ain't that naked, so we're good. Well, if you were naked, I'd probably get a million views. Alright, so pull that through there. Try it. Well, you know what? Actually, before we do this, you probably want to untangle this thing. Alright, folks. We've got a big tangle mess, so let's get the wife number one and untangling that, baby. Yeah, put the bear, put the bear girls over here so she don't cut herself. Easy, easy. Baby, milk does a body good. All right, folks, you were just a morse. There you go. Whoa! Pull that thing through there. Whoa! That's all you gotta do, folks. This is my technique. I'm gonna pull this thing through here. Hold on, baby. Let me reach under your legs. Whoa, whoa! Oh. Whoa, I'm going on the back. Trap backed up. Alright, so she's got that pull through there. I may have cut this thing a little bit low, but what I was going to try to do... Hit the hole, pole, man. Hit the hole. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's going to come off. Get the bear grills after you, son, man. Get in there. Ah, doggy. Folks, my plan is working like a charm. Get a big grip on it, baby. Pull. Oh, shh. All right, here, you hold the camera. I may have to chop it out a little bit. Nope. Look at that. Look at that. Put it right here. It's giving birth to the switch, and that's all we need it to do. And take a look in here. Put that on there. Folks. Okay. So we've got the, the heat source mounted. And let's check it with the lid. I want to make sure I can close the lid. Yeah. Alright, so I got it down there low enough. Okay, baby, could you plug it back in for us so we can test it out? Make sure we didn't break it during the construction process. Folks, this is easy to build. You saw that. Okay. All right, so we've effectively got our heat source installed into the duct incubator. Okay. Now, to check the heat source, baby, can you open that thermometer for us? Now, we're gonna have it like this. So we wanna be able to kind of gauge the heat in this bad boy. Now, obviously heat rises. So I'd say that we probably want to put the temperature down closer to where the, the eggs are gonna be instead of like sticking it up here and sort of go in at an angle. Just poke that bad boy in there like that. Okay, poke it through and come on here, baby, for safety. Now for safety, I don't want this point sticking out in case a little baby duck gets over there and injures himself to, so to prevent injury I'm gonna run it into the wall right there oh yeah look at that so hopefully that is gonna give us an accurate temp inside the uh, the incubator all right so pretty simple all we're gonna do is turn it on we put the ducks or the eggs in there turn it on put the lid on there and then we're going to monitor this temperature so right now we're going to do a test right now it's at uh what is that 90 something i don't know if that's accurate i got to read how to check the temp but as long as that thing goes up to 100 within a reasonable amount of time due to the fact that that lamp is putting off so little heat we may not require any type of uh, thermostat I don't know, maybe that's wishful thinking. All right, let's give it some time and see if we get to 100. All right, I'm gonna read these instructions only because if I lose these instructions, I can refer to this video. It says, uh, put it in 50-50 shaved ice and water. Obviously get it to 32, but you turn that nut up underneath there until it adjusts down to 32. So that's, that's pretty easy. All right, now let's check. It's been about five or 10 minutes. It looks like it's ticked up a degree or two, so we may be in business with this little setup. Okay, if not, I'm gonna have to add a thermostat. I'm gonna show you how that works too. 
All right, so we got the we got the box built. I got her trying to call, see if she can find any uh, fertilized eggs we can put in here. So while she's doing that, let's check the thermometer. And folks, that's <laughs> right at 100 degrees. It's been probably 20 minutes. That's going to be funny if that is right on the money and holes at 100. But as you can see right now, we're right on the money for where we need to be at. Could it be that easy? Probably not. But we'll work with it. So after closer inspection, looks like we're holding about between 102, 103. That's pretty damn close. So I think what I'm gonna do is make a little modification and just put a couple little air holes in here. Maybe one up top and one a little bit lower on the back side. I mean, I gotta maintain the humidity, but I think a small, small air hole might take that temperature down right to where it needs to go. Think about the GoPro, folks. Uh, aside from it's got great audio, you can hold this thing when you're trying to do these chores by yourself. Yes, yeah, so just take your pen. I feel like a tank. You inadvertently pop that off of there. So yeah, that's holding heat. Even though that's an LED bulb. It's definitely 100 degrees in there. So, all right, so I got a hole there. Got a hole here. So that should give us a little bit of temperature drop. Open. Heat that it would. The damn whole heat rises. So what I'm going to do? Got this Tupperware bowl here. Look at there. It fits in there perfect. We're gonna put that bad boy in here, put the eggs in, just to keep, when one of them breaks or anything, keep from making a mess, it's easier to clean it up. And then I've gotta put a cup of water to the last piece Whoa. to maintain uh, the humidity. We gotta put some water down in here. And so that little cup of water, hopefully is gonna maintain our humidity. And it's got a handle, it's got a little, there you go. So that's gonna be easy to come in and out of there. And, you know, so I think we can put one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven eggs in there. And if I took the plastic thing out, I could fit some more. But this is the trial run of this, this here contraption. So there you go, folks. As soon as we get some eggs to go in this bad boy, and I'm gonna test it again with the with the water in there, with the new vent holes, and see what we're holding. But I think we're gonna be good to go on 100 once it gets back up there. Project is complete. Just had Jason bring some. Uh, uh, these are 15 day eggs that the the hen was sitting on, and for below it, you know, they take them at 18 days and then boil them. So we've already got a head start on this. Hopefully we don't upset the uh, the natural progression because they've been with a hen. But now we're setting uh, artificial conditions. So if we're already at 15 days, then it should be another, you know, another two weeks, another 14 days, 13, 14 days in there, and then these things start hatching. But that's it, that's our setup. Our temperature seems to be holding 100, but if not, Okay, let me demonstrate the thermostat. Okay. Okay, baby. All right, now listen. This is what I need for you to do, okay? Okay, I need you to sit here and I need you to watch this man. Okay? Mm. And if it go over 100, you turn, you turn this off, okay? Okay. And then you watch. And when it go back down below 100, you turn this back on. So it means I do bodyguard in here? For two weeks. Because well, I, just, I, just I don't have a thermostat, so I, you're going to be the thermostat for two weeks. Well, look at it. 
<laughs> you the bodyguard of the ducks, baby. What you think? No, but okay, but I will ask for a jig break. <laughs> All right, folks. No, I think we're I think we're good to go. All right, put the lid on this jewel. Why are you put in here like this? And to regulate the, the temperature. It was getting about a degree too hot, so I put a couple air holes in there just to bring the temp down. <laughs> you laugh, you wait. There's gonna be six there's gonna be six ducks quacking. This box gonna be rocking. Quack quack quack. Marco's duck farm, baby. You got no faith in the foreign guy, do you? What? I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, folks, we're out of here. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe, bottom right hand corner of your screen. And we'll give you updates if this duck incubator is going to work. <laughs> Peace out, everyone. <laughs> you think it's going to work? I don't know. <laughs>